a small video with a tip about the point constraint to background. So I have a scene with two spheres and in the background I have a smaller sphere. And when I select the outer sphere and go to my mesh constraints, so it's up here, mesh constraints, and I already had it open. So when I set it to background, and with geometry constraint set to point. Now when I select a point and activate, for instance, the move tool, you will see that it snaps to the underlying geometry in the background. So with geometry constraint background set to point, this kind of acts like a magnet. So if I move around, it will always be constrained to that underlying geometry and I have select through enabled so I can simply select other vertices and all will snap to the background just like that as if the underlying mesh was some kind of magnet I could of course also set my geometry constraint to vector and for instance select a vert press the w key and move it forward but this is actually not the same as with point so when i set it to point and simply click and it moves kind of to the closest point so no need to set action centers so very simple to have vertices snap to underlying geometry with background constraints and geometry constraint set to point. So just a small tip about the point geometry constraint. Hope you found it useful. Bye for now.